I got a new phone guys I got the iPhone 14 and I can't believe I even decided to buy this I actually wasn't planning on upgrading my phone at all the phone that I had before this was the iPhone 11 the camera was fine the quality was fine there really was no issue with my other phone but the only problem is I ran out of storage so quickly I had 128 gigabytes on my iPhone 11 and it really wasn't enough for what I do but honestly even then even if I ran out of storage I really wasn't considering on buying a new phone because I would just you know back up my files in my Google Photos or iCloud and just delete them off my phone the only thing that actually like pushed me to buy a new phone is because my dad needed a phone his iPhone got broken but he didn't really want a new one he just wanted one that he can use and have a nice camera with so I decided to give him my iPhone 11 and upgrade to this one because I can use it for work I am not someone who would spend a lot of money or drop a lot of money on gadgets or anything in particular my last phone I didn't even buy it was a collaboration and that contract ended so it was the perfect time for me to either upgrade my phone or keep the old one so I decided to just upgrade my phone and yeah basically I have a new phone right now so that's what I did and I'm so grateful I'm so grateful to be even able to buy you know an expensive gadget just because so yeah I'm just so grateful thank you guys so much for letting this be my life so I decided to buy this phone on Lazada I bought it on beyond the box like their official store I've been going to the Apple store and all of the phones that I wanted are sold out like the white or silver model they're always sold out and they also had a sale so I was really grateful because I know that Apple products don't really go on sale so that's where I got my phone and what I did to be able to you know not really drop a huge amount of money all in one go is I used Gives on Gcash over on the Lazada app when you check out it's just such a great feature because it lets you pay in partial amounts and installments so you don't have to break the bank or you don't have to spend a huge sum or amount of money all in one go basically when you check out online or in stores when you scan the QR code or when you enter your Gcash it's gonna give you two options whether to pay in Gcash or Gives and when you select Gives it's gonna give you a lot of different options or payment plans that you can select from what's cool about Gives is you can shop up to 125,000 pesos depending on your G-score and pay in installments of 3, 6, 9, or 12 months with zero down payment, low interest rates, and 24 gives over 12 months. So I don't only use Gives to buy gadgets, but I also use it on a lot of different things, especially home decor pieces since I've been trying to renovate or decorate my room, and home decor pieces aren't cheap, so it's also a really great way to be able to use Gives. Gives has partnered with so many of our favorite stores and restaurants like Nike, Ikea, Power Mac, Beauty Manila, Shopee, Lazada, Manam, Din Tai Fung, and many more. Valentine's Day is coming up so this is the perfect time for you guys to check out and treat yourself to those things that you've been wanting and also if you have a date on Valentine's it's also the perfect opportunity to take them out to all of your favorite restaurants that are partnered with Gives and Gcash. So yeah make sure you guys activate Gives on Gcash so you can check out and shop all of those things that you guys have been eyeing recently. I'm gonna do a quick what's on my iPhone and show you guys everything that I have. This is kind of like a little inside look into my brain so basically this is how my phone looks like my lock screen is the skyline of new york i took this picture back in 2021 anyways when you open up my phone you're gonna see my home page so the first page looks like this we have a huge widget of a clock right next to that we have photos and i currently have 17,000 photos because i decided to transfer the photos from my old phone into this phone because i do have a lot of backlogs right next to that we have my calendar app and then under that we have contacts and camera but i'm gonna do a separate camera review at the end of this video so you guys can see that was definitely the main factor that I picked out when I was choosing the phone. I really wanted the camera to be nice because obviously I take a lot of videos and photos. And then under that we have a widget of a calendar because I'm always looking at the date. And then under that I have the notes app and I use this almost on an everyday basis. I make checklists every single day of to-do lists and like stuff I need to get done. Next to that we have maps and then FaceTime 
the weather app, and then settings. And then under that, we have text messages, phone or call app, and then next to that, we have Safari and then Spotify. So that's it for the first page. And then when we go to the second page, I have two widgets over here that I use to like divide the app so that it doesn't look too cluttered. So the first one is just a photo that says work on yourself for yourself. It's just a nice reminder every time I open my phone and like see you know this picture the second widget we have is just like a photo of a leaf i just thought it looked nice and like visually appealing i have 10 folders on my phone that's kind of a lot but i need them so the first is social media this is all of the apps that i use social media wise i know netflix isn't social media but i don't know where else to put that so i put it there and snapchat i don't really use snapchat but i just like looking through my memories from time to time whenever i'm feeling nostalgic or what um, next we have photo editing on um, this is where I plan my Instagram feed We have Fonto. I make my thumbnails on Fonto and PixArt. So under that I have a work folder So we have Gmail, Google Photos, YouTube Studio, Notion, Google Calendar, CamScan, and Shazam Shazam is a really great app if you're trying to like figure out music whenever you're in public and like you hear a song and you like it and you don't know the name of it you can just use Shazam and it's gonna play or it's gonna detect the song for you guys so I think it's a really great app beside that we have a messaging folder I have Facebook Messenger, Viber, and Telegram I actually talk to most of my friends and people over on Telegram that's what my friends and I like using because it has like really cute stickers and memes and, mm -hmm. and then under that we have utilities this is basically all of the like Apple apps that I don't really use but I don't know where else to put so I just put them in this folder Beside that we have finances, we have PayPal, Gcash, and my BDO app Under that we have a shopping folder, we have Shopee, Lazada, Carousel which I am addicted to, I have a Carousel addiction And then we have Food Panda because you know food delivery who doesn't love food delivery services right next to that we have depop because i also have a depop obsession but it's so expensive there so i only buy stuff on depop when i really, really like it so the next folder i have is health and this is just where i keep everything you know wellness related so first i have the flow app and this is where i track my period because ladies if you do not track your period it is so important that you guys do next we have fitness i don't really use that and then next we have health i love using this app to see how many steps i took in a day and then lastly we have the trays app the folder under that we have is travel so this is where i just have like my transportation and all we have grab ways ankas joyride because yes i just feel like the main character when i'm riding it and then we have uber because i use uber whenever i'm in the u.s we have find my phone below that we have the hopper app this is a really great app to look for flights it scans the web and filters all of the flights also accommodations, rental cars and then lastly we have Airbnb one of my go-to's whenever I'm traveling and the last folder I have on my phone is games because I recently just started playing games again on my phone I didn't have storage to download games in my old phone but like my older phones and when I had an iTouch I always play games It's just a really great stress relief for me and to get my mind off of like the internet or social media and stuff So I love playing Gardenscape specifically So that is everything on my iPhone This is what works for me and I'm really happy about it So now let's move on to the camera test I'm gonna show you guys some clips of you know footage and photos that I took using this phone and using my old phone so you guys can see you know a comparison and see the difference of the quality
so yeah that was basically it for today's video that was it for my unboxing what's on my iphone and camera review i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and don't forget to check out g gives on gcash it's gonna help you guys so much if you're making like bigger purchases or want to treat yourself for valentine's day or for any occasion but yeah that was it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next week for another video i'm gonna be in la by the way so i'll see you guys there